For everyone that's watching today, we welcome you. It's your day of increase. And I want you to know that a great big thank you. No meeting ever happens by itself. So I'm so grateful to all the help that has made this happen all week long. Let's give them a great big thank you. That's what Partner Day is really about. Glory to God. And then there's a final thank you that I want to say that I know is absolutely critically important. And it is the great leadership and the mantle that has come upon Pastor George and Sister Terry Pearson's to take this ministry to places all over the world. I see a great grace on them, a doubling of that increase. And we just want to thank God. Amen. In Jesus' name for all these gifts that have been given to us. Praise the Lord. Well, you may be seated for just a moment. It's my great and tremendous honor and privilege uh, to receive the partner offering this morning. And uh, hallelujah. Yeah. Glory to God. <clears throat> and I want to let you know that the Lord uh, awakened me uh, Wednesday morning, very, very early in the morning, and he spoke something to me very specific. So over the next few minutes, I'm just going to ask you to latch on and dig in and we'll go where we need to go prophetically by the Spirit of God. But the Lord said to me, if a thief be found, whew, I got to come down here. I'm telling you, this is it dropped right then. If a thief be found, he must restore. If a thief be found, he must restore sevenfold. That's fullness. And if that's not enough, he'll give you the whole substance of his house. Glory to God. And I heard the Lord say, when I surveyed heaven and saw Lucifer, here's what he said. He said, I found iniquity in him. Iniquity has been found in me. And I heard the Lord say, tell the people, tell the partners, I've already found the thief. From the foundation of the world, he found the thief and the entire plan of redemption is for you and me to be fully restored. That's what this is about. Nothing missing, nothing broken. And you partners are responsible for getting this message around the world. That means restoration's coming to your house. I said that means restoration's coming to your house. And the Lord said for me to prophesy to you, this will be a day of recovery like none other. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. I believe it. Don't you believe it today? Yeah. I want them to pull up a scripture for me. I'll hit it very, very quickly. It is Matthew chapter 10, verse 40 through 42. And I'm asking everybody in the room to take a moment and look at this with fresh eyes with the spirit of wisdom and revelation and the knowledge of him. Because there's many preachers, many seasoned partners. They've heard Brother Copeland talk about this. This is the essence of the machine that drives everything that manifests and has manifested for 50 years. God's plan of partnership, particularly the prophet's reward. Right. Glory be to God. Today, there's a restoration in the room, and I believe with all of my heart, you're about to receive the prophet's reward. If you will open your heart, I'm telling you there are miracles of finance that are going to explode, wisdom on the inside of you of what to do next, and, and the power of the anointing on this very ministry is coming to your house, it's coming to your family, it's coming to your city, it's coming to your church. If we handle this right, it's God's mechanism of anointing distribution. So what I want to say to you here in Matthew chapter 10, verse 40, you can, receive, you, can, you can read it on your own, of course. I'm just going to hit it a lick and a promise here, as we say, <laughs> skip a rock across the top of the water. But it says, he that receiveth you receiveth me. Now there's three verses here. And what I want you to see is, he says in those verses, he that receives a prophet in the name of a prophet will in no wise, right? He will receive a prophet's reward. But then he said, by the end of that, in verse 42, right. even if you give a cup of cup cold water to a disciple, right. you will in no wise lose your reward. Right. Now, here's the point that I want to make. In three verses, he uses the word receive eight times. Mm -hmm. wow. This is not about all that we think it's about. This is God's trying to impress upon us that you are about to receive something today. 
In three verses, he uses the word receive eight times, and he refers to it in the last verse a ninth time where he says, not only will you receive a reward, you will never lose it. And in chapter 11, verse 1, he departed after he gave that command and went to teach and preach in their cities and in their territories. I'm telling you today, because of the offering, if you hear this right and participate, something is about to happen in your city. The same thing that's happening here will go home with you. The same thing that's happening here will come on your city, your church, your life, and your family in Jesus' name. Now, in the last couple of minutes that I have, I want to tell you something that happened to me in Washington, D.C., and I'm going to ask them to bring up James chapter 5, verse 10, and they're going to do that because I must expedite, but in a partnership, I was on the front row in Washington, D.C., Voice of Victory meeting there. What a joy it's been to be in those meetings for so many years. As the man of God was ministering under the office of prophet, you know, Brother Jerry, Brother Jerry, of course, operated in that office. And he upheld the prophet and he walked in the footsteps of a prophet. Brother Jesse mentioned that Brother Copeland is a major prophet to this generation. That anointing is in this room. And so on the front row, there was an empty seat happened to be beside me. And I suddenly, I got overwhelmed. I felt something walk up and sit beside me and it nearly knocked me over. And I opened my eyes and said, who came up next to me? And the, the seat, I didn't see anything in the natural. And suddenly he was there. That's all I can tell you. Suddenly... Jesus was there. He said to me in the floor of that revelation under that prophet's office, he said to me, I've come to talk to you about the office of prophet. He said the highest anointing in the office of prophet is the anointing of restoration. I was about to lay over in the chair. I said, Lord, Lord, I was overwhelmed. I said, Lord, uh, you... If you want me to do something with this, you're going to have to give me some scripture for this. Because I knew out of the mouth of two or three witnesses, every word's established. He started just like that. He did me one better than three. He gave me four. We don't have time to go over those. But he said the first time the office of prophet is mentioned is in Genesis chapter 20, verse 7, where it calls Abraham a prophet and Abimelech took Sarah into his harem. God appeared in a dream and said, restore to the man his wife, for he is a prophet. And, if, and he will pray for you, and then your, life, your, your family will live, and the wombs of your family will get opened if you restore to him that it only will come on you and open up your family line. That's the principle of first mission. The first time prophet was ever used was in a testament to Abraham. And then he brought up to me Matthew 17, 11. They said, shouldn't Elijah come first? And they said, yes, Elijah shall come first. But Jesus said, he will come and restore all things. Amen. And Elijah was a prophet. The restoration of all things is at hand. Yes. And then Revelation, uh, not Revelation, uh, the book of Acts chapter 3, verse 21. The heavens must retain Jesus until the times of the restoration of all the things God has spoken through the mouth of his holy prophets. Every one of those verses attaches our absolute restoration to the prophet's anointing. And it's what heaven, it's what Jesus is waiting on. I'm telling you, the great restoration has begun. The great end time wealth for transfer has begun. Glory be to God. And this ministry is the tip of the spear, Sister Terry. That's what you're doing, bringing restoration to the planet, replenishing the earth. And there's a greater anointing yet in Jesus' name. But he said, not only the first time it was mentioned, but he said to me, and my time is up, so this is the key crowning point, so let me walk back up here. I will be obedient, but I know in my spirit, if you'll give me like literally one more minute, I need to deliver to you about this one thing. And it is this, James said, all the prophets that suffered and had patience, he said, Take Job for an example. James, the Lord's brother, said Job was an example of all the prophets. And it's what Jesus downloaded to me on the front row in the Washington, D.C. meeting. And he said, consider the end of Job. Not his life, not the whole book, not the things he said that didn't count. He said, consider the end. 
of Job. How it turned out with Job, he said, is how it's going to turn out with the church. This is how you turn out, Pastor George. Would you come up here and join me for a moment? I would really appreciate this because I want to ask them to bring up. Now, we, we, we're not going to go to another scripture except for Job chapter 42. And I want you to look at this with me if you don't mind, sir, because I believe that even though people have come from all over the world, you know, Brother Copeland told me by the Spirit recently that he got this from Brother Oral. And the thing that he said to me when he said, he, yes, sir. <laughs> Prophet of God. Today's the day the Lord has made. <laughs> we will rejoice and be glad. Oh, in it. yes, sir. And we are, are you ready for this? We are over $700,000 over the budget. The Lord said that one of the things he said to me, and it's why I was, I was backing off. I'm honoring my time, but I mean, the Lord said to me this morning, it's time for some of them to double up when they recognize the anointing of restoration. Well, receive the offering. Let's get on. Father, in the name of Jesus. How it turned out with Job. Today, the anointing of restoration is in the room. It's coming on your body, your emotions, your spirit, your family, and especially your finances. No less than a million dollars over budget will we come out of this meeting, partners. My wife has our seed over there. We are connected and in Jesus' name. We release the supernatural anointing of restoration on your house, on your seed. We command the increase to come and may it come today by the authority of the great, great and mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Prepare that seed, Brother Kurt's gonna tell you how.